Hello guys, so I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I'm back with Jack. Yo. Um, so I've been working quite a lot, which is obviously good. That's why I haven't done anything. Um, so we're trying something new today. We are gonna try a thing called geocaching, as I'm sure you can guess from the title of the video. Um, but essentially, uh, I've downloaded an app. Um, we're currently down on the quay, or just past the quay in Exeter. And um, what we're gonna try and do is basically look on the app, see if there's anything around us. Neither of us have ever done this before. Um, as far as I can tell, you kind of find like a box or something, you can put things in it, swap things around. Um, I've got a pen, so I can write in the log. And um, yeah, we'll see what we find. It may be completely unsuccessful, but we'll have a go. Right, okay, so I have just found one. Um, it's essentially in that direction there. Um, so we're gonna walk off. It's straight through a field, the navigate on it. I wasn't quite sure how it works. So I thought it might be a bit like Google Maps, but basically it's like as the crow flies. So we're walking through there. So we've come up against our first hurdle, which is essentially we're walking straight to the corner of a field. Now I have no idea if we can get through to the other side or not. I'm also in flip flops, which isn't the best idea. Where are you taking us, Ben? <laughs> yeah, we're not going through there. Course, yeah, so we find a little way through, a little uh, attack by a dog, nothing to worry about. Essentially, we're going straight, diagonally that way. So we'll try to go along this path and then up. Hopefully that'll get us there. So it's brought us out onto a pretty major path, which if we'd thought about it, we'd have just walked to. But either way, apparently it's along this way and we're looking for, there's a photo, which is the hint, which is basically of like, it's a bush and it says it's in the shrubbery behind the bush. Now, something I have heard about geocaching is you've got to watch out for uh, muggles, which basically means that when you find them, you don't want to make it obvious. Um, so yeah, we'll hopefully find a time where there's no one going past and then uh, have a rummage behind the bush. One bush surrounded by all of this, Ben. Sound, sounds easy, mate. We'll find it. I think this is our uh, tree that that picture's in. And it says, in the undergrowth behind I don't know how far away we're thinking. Like right in here. Got it. All right. So now very subtly. Like. Someone else found it literally today. That's pretty cool.
cool. And we'll uh, hide it away again. First geocache, success. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find another one. Cool, so just found our first one, which is pretty cool. Um, easier to find than I thought. I don't know if they're all that easy. I guess the photo helps a lot. Um, it was easier to sit down as well and sort of if anyone walked past, just be like, eh, not doing anything. So that's cool. Um, I'm also hoping that all the spoiler warnings I've put on this um, suffice, because I know I shouldn't be giving away locations and stuff like that. So yeah, obviously, hopefully that uh, fits in with the geocache community. We're now gonna walk down Double Locks Way um, and see if there's any more in that direction. Um, and I've also seen that I've got to fill in a log on the actual app as well. So I'll do that. Um, it's pretty cool to see that someone literally found it earlier on today because the last uh, date was today's date. So yeah, pretty nice. All right, so we found another one um, and it's just the other side of the canal. So we're gonna cross over the canal. It's just in front of us here. Um, and the clue is to walk, I think it said walk up a path from the canal and it's just by the railway line which is actually back down where we first started, just the other side of the water. So we'll head down there now. Hopefully by two minutes from the railway line, it means like where you're allowed to be and not the other side of a fence or something, but we'll find out. location which is basically around here by this bridge um, so the description says uh, magnetic and about two meters from the railway bridge that's the only clues um, the photo is taken from about here I would say uh, so having a good look around there's quite a few of the most recent cache things say that they didn't find it it doesn't mean it's not here so we're gonna have a really good search but yeah that's all we've got to go on so far no it doesn't really say it could be hard it could be like you have to fucking like walk up here and it's like in the middle actually i can see that or on top of it yeah like stuck to one of these behind yeah, something yeah. The photo was taken from over here. So I don't know if that suggests that like, you want to stand where the photo was taken from. And it's not on the other side. I looked on the other side, it wasn't, I can see it there. So having another good look through all the descriptions, essentially there's a picture of someone holding it underneath this tree. So I'm stood in the exact spot. The, brilliant, tray. The picture of it, it's like a silver canister, like this kind of size. Um, so I would put it like behind these, but yeah, we can't find it anywhere. We're gonna look for like one more minute and unfortunately, call this one a no-go. 
Right, we've accepted defeat. No good. Um, we had a really, really good look around. Um, we looked at a picture of it, which showed exactly what it was. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's a no-go. Um, I've looked back on the map and there's quite a high concentration of some a little bit further up the river. So we're going to head up in that direction um, because basically if we don't find one, at least there'll be another one like in the same area. So yeah, we'll uh, head that way. Okay, so we found one basically in the in the trees, the other side of the rugby field over there. Uh, I think it should be quite difficult because there's no real like landmarks. It's literally just a big row of trees. But hopefully we're a bit more successful than the last one. Um, we'll pull it up on the map now and uh, have a look at the hints and uh, see how we go. I think it's this side of the fence. I hope you're right. So we're just trying to remember what it said. Stop of the oak tree. That's an oak tree. And then it said, it's on the left, zip tied to the fence, buy some ivy. So that should be over here. So that's an oak tree. Buy some ivy. Zip tied to the fence. Okay, so just as I was screenshotting the uh, the actual app, then uh, Jack just found it. So it's just down here. This little thing here, and I believe. So open it up. Take out what's in there. You can sign this one. If I can uh, get it out, it's not an easy task. I think a stick's gonna have to come into here. Maybe. Very delicate, I don't know how long this has been here for. It's like an old uh, like festival band. Oh, nice. Uh, right, okay. Um, this has got a lot already, as you can see. A lot of people have found it. Is there space for another one? It goes back to... So what are we today? 16th for the 9th? Right, so we're on this side now. Yeah, this started back, uh, actually, funnily enough, a couple weeks ago, exactly a year ago. So it's been going for a year, this one. There you go. It's just like a pencil. Yeah. So very delicate. found as well um, the 30th of August so about three weeks ago so this might take a while Well, um, we'll call that a success, 66%. We've got two out of uh, three we tried today. 
Um, I think we're going to probably try this again, uh, but we're going to go a little bit further afield, so maybe up onto Dartmoor or something like that. But um, yeah, by all means, give this a try. Um, I'll link the app down below so you can try and find that as well. Um, I hope, like I said, I haven't given it anything away I shouldn't have. Uh, I'll mark this as found on my app now. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe, um, all of that stuff. Uh, so I haven't been around in a while, but I'll upload another one soon. Peace.